recover. Kill recover. Kill recover. There are people like me who are counting on you, and there are literally, I mean literally, lives at stake. The number one cause of fighter pilot fatalities is controlled flight into terrain, or CFIT. For three decades, the Department of Defense has been working to prevent these mishaps. The Air Force Research Laboratory has the solution. The Automatic Ground Collision Avoidance System recognizes when an aircraft is about to crash into terrain and automatically assumes temporary control with an autopilot maneuver to safely divert the plane and its pilot out of harm's way. The system is a proven lifesaver that was developed with three critical requirements in mind. Do no harm, do not interfere, and prevent collision. Auto GCAS is constantly comparing the aircraft recovery trajectory with a terrain profile generated from onboard digital terrain elevation data. If a threat is detected, an evasion command is issued. If no action is taken by the pilot, the system assumes control. The recovery maneuver includes an abrupt roll to upright, followed by a 5G pull until clearance is assured. The system also incorporates a pilot-activated recovery system, PARS, that gives a disoriented pilot a way to manually engage in automated recovery. The pilot can override auto GCAS at any time. The F-16 program office fielded auto GCAS in the Block 40 and Block 50 fleet in September 2014. Within the first year, auto GCAS was responsible for three confirmed saves. In November 2014, an F-16 was engaged in a strafe run. The pilot had an estimated 2.4 seconds to react for a 5G recovery. At 1,960 feet above the ground, the low altitude warning sounded. Less than a second after being warned, Auto GCAS went into action, pulling the plane out of the dive. The second activation occurred in January 2015. Two aircraft were engaged in a high-aspect basic fighter maneuver, approximately 19,000 feet over water. Both aircraft, while in rapid descent, passed each other at just under 11,000 feet. Shortly thereafter, one aircraft attempted a vertical maneuver, but was too close to the water. Auto GCAS engaged and negotiated a successful recovery while the aircraft was in a negative 145-degree roll angle and just 2.6 seconds before the intended maneuver would have proven fatal. 75% of F-16 fatalities are due to controlled flight into terrain, spatial disorientation, or G-lock, G-induced loss of consciousness. The initial onset of G-lock is insidious and difficult to detect. G-lock occurs during many maneuvers that expose pilots to more Gs than the body can handle. It is difficult to notice the decreased field of view until the pilot is looking out of what is described as a soda straw. If no action is taken, the pilot will lose all vision and soon thereafter black out. In certain maneuvers, this can be fatal. The Air Force realized it was a problem and we wanted to stop losing people at the rate we were losing them. The fact that we now have a system because of people like you uh, that protects our lives means more than I can really stand up here and say in a, in a couple minutes. In 2017, the hybrid flight control system will be ready for transition. The Block 30 F-16s flown by the Air National Guard, Air Force Reserve Command, and our foreign partners will capitalize on this life-saving technology. It is now easier to go defend our country in the air based on the fact of, of you guys have now taken a system that initially I just had to be Lucky, right, had to survive uh, via luck, and now thanks to you, we are better than lucky. Kill recover! 
Here, recover! Here, recover!